We are live for break number 395. This is 2017 Panini Donruss Diamond Team. One of those boxes with kind of a cult following. Pretty cool box. I enjoy it. All right, teams that are there on the left, I had one trade, and it should be updated there. Let me copy these teams. What's up, Alan? See, man, tag John Henderson since he's new to these breaks. Let's see if he finds this video. All right, my teams are updated. <coughs> Ooh, what got on my table? All right, 2017 Diamond Kings has 96 cards, uh, 12 packs with eight cards apiece, a uh, handful, I think four framed Kings, uh, one autograph, one memorabilia card. What's going on, Scott? Quite a few variations. Seems like almost one per pack. I'm not sure of the number. Without looking, but uh, there are quite a few packs to get through. Let's go ahead and get ripping. For the people new to the breaks, check out the the shipping policy. Uh, Three fifty of per spot. That doesn't work in with the shipping fees. It keeps them down. So what we do, I combine all the cards. Whereas some breakers only ship the hits. We uh, you get all the cards. It wouldn't make sense though to ship every team because like uh, I don't know. If somebody has say like Brandon has the Brewers. I don't know who else he has, and he only gets. <clears throat> two Brewers cards. Well, I'm sure he doesn't want to pay shipping on a couple base cards, and I don't want to charge for shipping, so we combine those with future breaks or past breaks, as many as you want. And then it's four dollars to ship you PM me and let me know you're ready to ship. Make sure I have your address, and all your cards will be on the way. It really benefits. It pays off doing multiple breaks, basically. It, which I think is probably how shipping. I think it's how it should be done, as long as there's enough quantity, like quantity of breaks. Even for one hit, I mean, say you got a. 10 to 15 dollar hit to pay three dollars extra shipping on it it, it kind of it makes the value of takes away from the value of the card so i like to combine shipping as much as i can with 82 draft with all including scott it might even include tomorrow i'm going to be working um on shipping all day tomorrow. I've been working on this evening too. So I'm anticipating I might not get everything out until Wednesday on the draft. So yeah, these will be included. And if you got a card, I'm not looking at what you got in the draft. If you picked a card, it's free shipping and I'll include all your breaks. 
in that shipping. If you're in the Phoenix break, it's only free if you got a hit. The other cards just go to your stash if you didn't get a hit. Uh, yeah, that includes, I'll ship everything you have, all your cards. If you don't want me to ship yet, and want to hold, you'll still get free shipping whenever you want it. You just have to let me know. But if you don't let me know, I'll be shipping everything here when I'm done packaging it up. Alright, 2017 Diamond Kings. Let's go. Good luck, everybody. We got 96 cards out. Sure, no problem. Um, turn your phone sideways if you don't know. It should make the screen bigger, full screen. This is a good view. Justin Verlander, Detroit Tigers, Lloyd Wayner, Pirates, Chris Sale, White Sox, Jarrell Cotton, Oakland A's rookie, Roman Quinn, Phillies rookie, Grover Alexander, had him last time, Philadelphia, I'm going to look him up, make sure it's the Phillies and not the A's, Larry Doby, Indians, Jake Area, the Cubs, Moose Skorun, Yankees, Carl Perillo, Dodgers, and our first hit is Adrian Gonzalez, Jersey Kings, numbered 43 out of 49. That one for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Pretty cool because usually you get that um, dual relic. So this is kind of a, I'd say more rare because we've seen that dual relic a ton of times. It's not numbered. This one numbered to 49. Now I'm going to Scott Marcus. How's it going, Margaret? Uh, Jordan Patterson, a rookie. A Rockies, Carson Fulmer. White Sox, rookie. Heritage Collection, Eddie Murray. With the Orioles, Joe Jackson. White Sox, Goose Goslin. Senators, and I believe this goes to Twins. You'll have to look it up. If you want to know why. It's Senators turn into Twins and Rangers, depending on the year. Ted Lyons, I believe. White Sox. I'll be looking that one up. Chicago. Don Mattingly with the Yankees. Joe Cronin for the Red Sox is our first framed king. That one going to the top loader pile. Alex Reyes, rookie. Cardinals. Coda Glover, rookie. Nationals. DK Originals. Robin Yount. With the Brewers, Billy Herman, Chicago, and I can't remember on him, Francisco, Lindor, Indians, I'll look all those up when I sort, so I, just, I don't want to take the time to look every New York card up, because there's quite a few of them I forget, Chris with a K, Davis to the A's, Jose Altuve is an artist proof, for the Astros, number 92 out of 99, <coughs> AJ Pollock is a Diamondback. Aaron Judge, a rookie for the Yankees. Going to get a top loader. Yoan Mankata, rookie. White Sox. Rod Carew, Angels Heritage Collection. Harry Walker for the Cardinals. Bill Dickey, New York. I believe Yankees. Chipper Jones, Braves. Freddie Freeman, Braves. And your filler, Carlos Gonzalez. Rockies, Jacoby Jones, a rookie Tigers, Ronaldo Lopez, rookie Nationals, DK Originals, Tony Gwynn with the Padres, Paul Wayner, Pirates, Cole Hamels, Rangers, Madison Bumgarner, Giants, Ty Cobb with the Tigers, Christian Yelich is a frame king for the Marlins. Are they not turning the variations around this time? I haven't seen any backward cards. Which indicate the variation. Jose Rondon, rookie with the Padres. Dansby Swanson, rookie Braves. Give him a top loader there. Aurora. John Lester for the Cubs. Jackie Robinson, Dodgers. Ryan Braun, Brewers. Don Larson. New York. I think Yankees. Could be Giants. 
Again, we'll be looking it up. Jose Altuve, Astros. J.D. Martinez, Tigers. Yo, Honder Mendez, rookie for the Rangers. Rymel Tapia, rookie Rockies. Aurora, Edwin Encarnacion with the Blue Jays. Michael Franco, Phillies. Billy Williams, Cubs. Al Oliver, Pirates. Chuck Klein, Phillies. Jason Kipnis, Indians. Tiascar Hernandez, Astros, rookie. Stan Musial with the Cardinals. Heritage Collection, Kirby Puckett. With the Twins, Corey Kluber. Indians, Kiki Kyler. I think he's Cubs. Harry Hooper, Boston Red Sox. Corey Seager, Dodgers. Nellie Fox is a framed king for the White Sox. I've got a feeling this box was just not flipped for the uh, variations. Either that or we haven't got any. So uh, you might have to study your own cards. Figure out which ones are in the short print. Jake Thompson, rookie, Phillies. Matt Olson, rookie, Athletics. Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals, DK Originals. Heine Grove, Reds. Billy Martin with the Yankees. Mark Trumbo with the Orioles. George High Pants, Kelly with the... That one, I think, is Giants. Manny Machado for the Orioles. A dual patch autograph. Signature. Nice card. 19 out of 25. That's a beauty. Baltimore Orioles. That one will go to Charles Henderson. Nice hit. Yeah, orange and the black there on the patches. We already looked at the number. 19 out of 25 on that one. I like that hit. For the Brewers, Orlando Arcia, rookie Ernie Banks, Cubs, Ty Cobb, memorable moments for the Tigers, Josh Donaldson, Blue Jays, Gabby Hartnett, Chicago, Kurt Schilling, Red Sox, Gregory Polanco, Pirates, Josh Bell, Pirates, rookie Daniel Murphy, framed Brown King, number 13 out of 49 for the Washington Nationals. Ozzy Smith, Heritage Collection, Cardinals, Brian Dozier, Twins, Pee Wee Reese, Dodgers, Lou Gehrig, Yankees, Robinson Cano, Mariners, Dansby Swanson is a framed king rookie for the Braves. Nice one there. David Paulino, rookie, Astros, Kirby Puckett, Minnesota Twins. Pedro Martinez, Red Sox. I believe that's a short print there uh, with the throwback jersey. Maybe not. It stuck out. I could be totally wrong on that one. Pedro Martinez, Red Sox, DK Originals. Kyle Schwarber, Cubs. Jim Thorpe, I thought was Giants. We'll be looking it up. Tony Lazuri, I'm going to double check him too. I believe Yankees, but... That's all. Good box of Diamond Kings there. Uh, last break tonight. 11.40. Yeah, Jackie. Um, I don't know. I could pop up a football gridiron kings. Part of me is afraid it won't fill. And another part of me there's that I got some work to do anyway Adrian Gonzalez for the Dodgers anybody in this room here interested in a gridiron Kings break if there's a few of you interested maybe I can run one uh, Adrian Gonzalez and Manny Machado were the hits these into top letters for the
We need to change that look of yours, Jackie. The ones I see that I feel like do well, they're consistent. They seem to buy two to four spots when they buy in. And kind of the regulars and they the ones that do that seem to hit kind of regularly. I don't know. It's all kind of luck. It, I wish everybody could hit. I always say it'd be nice to do big breaks with like 50 hits in the multiple boxes, but to do those, you either have to water down the boxes and buy a bunch of like really cheap products like 2013 football, for example. There's a ton of cheap products in 2013 where you can get four hits for maybe 30 something dollars a box or 40. But uh, their rookie hits and the rookie class stunk that year. So you're adding four watered down hits for 30 bucks onto the total price. Sure, it looks great. I mean, say 20 hits, five of those boxes would be maybe six to seven dollars per person. That's going to be 20 junk hits. Or you could do the like Spectra and Immaculate National Treasure and have like a break that costs over a grand. I'm talking thirty to fifty dollars a person. Those would be fun. And those would probably assure you there's very few skunks. But thirty to fifty dollar breaks don't feel that quick. And I don't currently have the budget to sit on those boxes. Maybe someday. A couple of you, Gridiron Kings. I'll post it if it doesn't fill. Like by in the next like hour, we'd have to run it tomorrow. That'd be the only thing. But yeah, I'll post it. Gridiron Kings coming up.